In this video, I'm gonna show you how to live stream to YouTube step by step. And we're starting right now. Hi there, David Walsh here once again from davidwalshonline.com, helping you grow your channel, especially for business. So how much live streaming do you watch? Do you prefer live streams or video on demand? Let me know in the comments area below. So you'd like to live stream to your YouTube channel. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do so in the easiest way possible. So let's jump in. Now, before we get into how to live stream from YouTube, one thing you do need to make sure is that you have a fast internet connection. So how to do that is to go to speedtest.net and just click on go. So this will look at the download speed and also your upload speed as well. And the upload speed is the most important one because that's what we're going to use for uploading your video to YouTube. So you can see here, we've about 17 meg upload, which is quite good and will help create a very good live stream. The minimum I would recommend that you have is five meg upload. If you've got less than this, then you may want to look at going through a mobile device, which could end up going faster. I know that when I go through my mobile, sometimes I will get a 20 or a 30 meg upload on my mobile device. So if you have an unlimited data plan or a high gigabyte data plan, then that might work for you. If you do have a slower connection, then make sure to watch the OBS tutorial where I show you how you can adjust your settings for slower speeds so that you maintain a good quality upload for your live stream. So the first thing you need to do before you start live streaming is to make sure that you have live streaming enabled. So all you need to do is to go to youtube.com forward slash features and you will end up on this page. So go down to where it says live streaming. So if you have this enable button, then you need to verify your account and enable live streaming. So click on enable and I'll ask you to put in your phone number and then verify your account. Once that is done, you'll have live streaming enabled. It may take 24 hours for it to be enabled on your channel. Once that's done, you can go to the next step. So from anywhere inside YouTube, you can go live. So you'll see this go live icon right here, or you can go up to the top and create, and you'll have go live also. So wherever you are, just click on the go live option. Now, if you get the stream classic option, you can bypass that. Now, the first way we're going to stream is by using our webcam from our laptop or a webcam that we have on our computer and our mic. So click on webcam on the left. So this may ask you to allow YouTube access to your microphone and your camera, allow that. Then what we want to do is to give this a title. You have the option to go private, unlisted or public. So if you want to go out to your subscribers or anyone to be able to see it, then you'll go public. If you want to show it to a select few people, you can give them the URL and you don't need to give them access any other way. If you select private, you do need to set them up via their email address, which is the most complicated. So if you want to hide it, just put it as unlisted or just simply go public. For now, I'll just go unlisted. Now I can schedule this for later. So that means that I can set this up, say for 5 p.m. today. Or select four since it's close. And then I can select any date I want as well. So I can select this anytime in the future to go live. I'll just leave it on that for now. Now you also wanna make sure that you select the correct settings for children. If your content is for kids, then you select yes. If it isn't for kids, then leave it as no. This makes sure that you don't have a strike against you if you select no and it actually is for kids. Under more options, we can select the camera. So if you have multiple cameras, I can select my uh, Logitech camera here. I can also change the microphone I'm using as well. And under advanced settings, I can allow chat. And if you have a paid promotion, then you can select that. But we don't, so we'll just leave it as is. Then click on next. Then it wants to take a thumbnail. So there's our thumbnail. Now we can retake this thumbnail if we want, or we can upload a custom thumbnail, which is what I would recommend. But if you're starting from scratch and you're just testing this out, just go with any photo for now. Once you've got that done, you can click on done. So now I have my live stream scheduled. I can go live on this. So if I click in here, I can click on go live now if I want. And we're going live. 
So you'll see here, now we're going live and I can show you the mic right here. And we've got our live stream and live stream there. This is where you will see people who are chatting to you. That's where those will come in here. So I'm just going through my webcam. I've got my mic that's connected to my computer. And once I'm done, I just simply click on end stream. And it goes, do you want to end the stream? Click on end. And now we are done. So then it gives you some analytics, how many playbacks, how many peak concurrence were on there, how many people stayed pretty much the whole way through, how many new subscribers you've got, and the duration along with the total watch time, which in this case was 12 seconds. Now I can edit this in studio if I want, click on edit in studio, and this will allow me to cut off the uh, bits I don't want inside of the video. Now, one thing with this is that if you do cut off any of this, if you edit any of your video, you will lose your comments from your video. So this is why I don't edit these now because I wanna see the chat happening on the video. When you schedule for later, what it does, it allows you to have the video set up on your channel and have a set reminder bell on there. Now, if you don't add a custom thumbnail, what it will do, it will take your channel art. And if you don't have channel art, it will take your icon as you can see on this video. When your video is scheduled for later, people can put comments in the chat box there and they can also get reminder once you go live from YouTube. So that's the down and dirty easy way to go live on your YouTube channel. The other way is by using some software. Now I'm gonna use OBS, which is a free piece of software that you can download. Links to that are in the description below. So this will give me a lot more functionality and a lot more flexibility with my live streams. I can do a lot more with it than I can with just your basic YouTube live stream going through the browser. So to connect my live stream here, I'll go back to my channel, go live, and this time I will go to stream. So again, I will give it a title. I'll make it unlisted again. I can give this a description, make sure I've got the correct category. Again, I can schedule this for later, but we'll just go live now. I can upload a thumbnail. So if I click that, I can upload a thumbnail. And again, you want to make sure that you have the right settings for kids. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create stream. So what this does now, it actually gives me a key that I can connect my live stream software with my YouTube channel to go live. Now there are some settings on here that are slightly different than the other live stream settings. So I want to enable auto start so that when I click go live on my software, I can go live here. So I'm gonna click on enable and I'm going to enable auto stop as well. Now you can switch this off. So what this does with the enable auto start is I can stream into here, I can see myself and then I can click on start stream. And the same here is like before, I can click on stop stream through the browser here. So to connect it to my software, what I need is my stream key. So this is what this is here, my stream key, and I'm just gonna click on copy. So to connect it to my software, I just go down to my settings here, then I go to stream, and I have already selected YouTube and gaming. So from here, if you haven't got this selected, select YouTube slash YouTube gaming. Now I will be doing a full OBS tutorial on this, so the link will be in the description below. So once I've got my stream, I'm gonna paste that in there, and then I click on OK. So now I have my stream set up. So once I'm ready, all I have to do is to click on Start Streaming. So that's this button here, so I'm gonna click on that. And if I go back to my browser here, we will see that this is beginning to accept my stream. So you can see now this is live, and I've got an excellent collection and there I am now. So you can see I'm on my channel, I'm going live through OBS and I'm streaming to my channel through this software. So I can bring in all sorts of other things. I can bring in video, I can bring in graphics, all those things that this software will allow me to do. And again, I will be doing a full tutorial on how to use OBS, link is in the description below. So once you are done, then you click on stop streaming. 
And if we check here, we will see that this is ending here as well. And if it doesn't work, you still have the option to end stream here too. So I'm gonna click on that just in case. And again, we have our statistics come up as before and we can edit this video or click on dismiss. To view your streams, go up to your account, go to uh, YouTube, then you go to studio and under videos, just go to live. So you'll see here are the two videos that I've just done and this one has the thumbnail as well. So you can go back, you can edit any of the details on here. You can put it in the description. You can upload a thumbnail if you didn't do one before. You can add in tags, anything like that. Now, if you want to download this, simply go up to the three dots on the top right. And once this is finished processing, it will be available to download. This ensures that you do have a backup of your videos if they end up getting deleted somehow. So what are you going to live stream on your channel? Let me know in the comments area below. I'd love to know what you're going to stream. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell when we upload videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. To get a full tutorial on how to use the free software OBS, then click that video there. If you would like to be able to stream from your mobile, click that video there. Thank you.